So I'm going to show you a neat program uh, today that I use called Phrase Express. Uh, I use it on Windows. Uh, if you're a Mac user, there's another program called Text Expander, which I actually think is probably a little bit better, but I use Phrase Express because I'm on Windows. So what these, what these programs will allow you to do is set up little text snippets uh, that will automatically expand to longer things. For example, if you typed in uh, EML, you could set that to automatically replace any time you type EML with your email address. Um, one of the things that I use is uh, for um, remembering HTML colors for our website. So if I'm doing some HTML and I need the colors, um, one of the things that I can do is just type in card and automatically there you go just like that so let me show you how that actually works um, down here in this one I have it set that anytime I type pound card colon or semicolon rather it will automatically replace it with pound the correct number and the semicolon uh, so that's a real easy way I know I want the cardinal but I don't remember what all the numbers were this is a real easy way where I don't have to remember that I can just add card or gold uh, another method um, for, for using this is with names. Uh, for example, uh, when we uh, write a story on first reference, we include a student athlete's year, position, hometown, and high school. So for example, I can just type Maya Bowden, and if I open and close parentheses, and there you go. So it automatically replaces that. And so I'm going to show you that in the back end. So if we go to Maya Bowden, you can see right here, Maya Bowden is automatically replaced with all this information up here. So, okay, Maya Bowden and Taylor Ostrander. Okay, and so here's an here's an instance where we actually have two Taylor Illustrators because one is for cross country and one is for uh, for track. Uh, but just like that, pops right in. So pretty neat way that you can uh, save a little time. Uh, another way that I use this uh, in and this works in Presto is when I'm creating uh, some Presto HTML where I need columns. I can type span and it automatically creates all these things and I can add the information to the columns wherever I need it. And the last thing uh, that I'm going to show you, and this is actually really neat, uh, and this will uh, is especially useful when you're if you're uh, writing stories for track and field. Um, sometimes the metric and the English are both included with your results, sometimes they're not. Um, this is going to be an easy way that if all you have is the metric, uh, you can get the English as well. So basically, I have a snippet set up that anytime I type semicolon, M for metric, and then space, it's going to prompt me. And I'm going to say, you know, uh, 6.10 meters, which I know is 20 feet. So 6.10 meters, 20 feet. So for example, if I'm writing a story, and I can say, Maya Bowden finished first in the pole vault with a jump of, and here I'll go, semicolon M space, 3.15 meters, and there you go. It's automatically, it's in there, uh, real easy, uh, just saves a lot of time. So this is just a couple ways you could use Text Expander. Um, there's all kinds of ways, um, but yeah, take a look.